What's going on guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Friday the 3rd of January, we have confirmed us to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yes, this episode will be down below in the description box and current schedule every day at 8am UK time will be a new transfer update. And in the comment section below, what was your favourite video game in the last decade? Right, so first up today we have got a young Arsenal striker and that is going to be Eddie Nketiah. He currently plays for Leeds United on loan and was there for the first half of the season, but didn't really play too much first team football uh, for Marcelo Bielsa. 16 appearances, mostly from the bench, and he scored three times. And because of that, Arsenal have decided to recall him, but he won't be staying at the Emirates for too long. He's expected to go out on loan yet again. And outlets are saying that Bristol City are leading the race to sign him. Atalanta owned Dejan Kulisevsky has arrived at Juventus to undergo his medical. It's ahead of completing a transfer to the Serie A champions and the fee is thought to be in the region of 35 to 40 million euros. And although the 19 year old was expected to go back to Parma on loan, it looks like Maurizio Sarri side are pushing to have him available from January onwards. They want to be involved straight away. Mikel Arteta said that he thinks Granit Xhaka will remain as an Arsenal player. That's despite very strong interest from Hertha Berlin. The German side were willing to pay, I think, 25 to 35 million euros to get a transfer done and uh, over the line. But the Spanish manager wants to keep him at the Emirates. And he does see him as integral to his project at the club. And of course, it's very early days for Arteta and Arsenal, but of what I've seen so far, they're playing much better football. Um, they are looking very tight in the second half, but it's as expected. If you're playing like a, a more intense and pressing game, it's going to happen. And a similar thing happened to when Jurgen Klopp first took over Liverpool. Lots of injuries. Benjamin Henricks is set to turn down a switch to Bayern Munich and instead link up with RB Leipzig. This story comes from Build. The 22-year-old currently plays for AS Monaco and is thought the fee could be around 25 million euros and he's set to join the current Bundesliga leaders. MLS side LA Galaxy are expected to announce the signing of Emiliano and Shua and that could be as early as Thursday, so that's yesterday for you guys. The Argentine has previously played for Liverpool and most recently played for Stuttgart in Germany and this story is from the LA Times. Next up, Calcio Mercato report that Inter and AC Milan are both keen on Manchester United midfielder Nemanja Matic. Both Milan sides are currently trying to attempt to make the switch to Italy, and alongside them, apparently Atletico Madrid are showing strong interest as well. But for Man United, they won't be able to get a big fee because his contract is set to expire in the summer, and it looks like his time at Old Trafford is coming to an end. Roma's Cengiz Unda is being followed closely by a number of clubs in the Bundesliga and the Premier League. This story is again from Calcio Mercato. The 22-year-old has been linked to a move to Manchester United and Arsenal in recent seasons and he could be on the move if the right offer comes in in January. The Italian capital club are looking for a fee in the region of 40 million euros and if that does come in, he will probably be on the move. And it's a player that has got bags of potential but unfortunately for him, injuries have happened and it's taken his place away in the starting eleven. Eurosport France are saying PSV have made a firm offer to AC Milan for defender Ricardo Rodriguez. Turkish giants Fenerbahce are also interested, but they are awaiting an appeal over financial fair play. He was linked to Napoli a couple days ago to reunite with uh, manager Gattuso. Um, so either way, whether it is to Napoli or PSV, his time at the San Siro is probably done. And next up, a very short one from Build. The SM Borussia Dortmund would be willing to sell Paco Alcacer for a fee of 40 million euros. He has been linked to a move to Atletico Madrid because the Spanish side want to bring a striker in, whether it is Alcacer or Cavani. And for Dortmund, their main striker now, it will definitely be Erling Haaland. Arsenal have received a blow in their pursuit of RB Leipzig's Upa Meccano, with a Bundesliga club putting a huge price on the French defender. The Daily Mirror report that Arsenal have to pay up to £80 million to sign the 21-year-old. Leipzig aren't keen to sell the centre-half during the current season because they're pushing for the Bundesliga title and they're still in the Champions League. Jerome Berteng is yet to decide what the future holds for him at Bayern, according to TZ. The World Cup winner has been linked to a move for some time now um, to the likes of the Premier League size Arsenal and Manchester United, but either way he will join up with the German champions for training in the winter break. 
And I mentioned a couple of days ago that I think Jerome Boateng to Arsenal, it, it might be a bit of a risk because of his injuries and stuff like that. But his play style being very, very like positive, bringing it out from the back and passing, he could fit Arteta's system very nicely. The Daily Mail say that former Liverpool striker Daniel Sturridge has got off to a good start in Turkey with Trabzonspor, and as a result of this, he's drawn interest and attention from clubs closer to home. Aston Villa were looking to sign him during the summer transfer window, but instead, they pursued other targets. But one of the players they did sign, being the Brazilian striker Wesley, he is now injured and it doesn't look good. And because of that, they may look to turn to Daniel Sturridge and bring him in, as he has so much Premier League experience, and he is a goal scorer. They would face competition, however, from Marseille, as the French side are looking to solidify their second place in the Ligue 1 table. Dinamo Zagreb attacking midfielder Danny Olmo has revealed that former club Barcelona have entered talks to bring him back to the Catalan club. Olmo said in an interview a couple days ago, if there is an agreement between both clubs, it's better to leave now, as soon as possible. And Sport are running a very similar story, that Barca are looking at two former players that currently aren't playing in Spain. One of those is Dani Olmo from Dinamo Zagreb, and the second player is a man in fine form right now, Adam Traore, who plays for Wolves. I mentioned in yesterday's episode that Adam Traore, he would be open to going to Real Madrid if the opportunity arose, but maybe a return to the new camp as a player that has definitely started to prove himself, it might be the better option. Gabriel Barboza, also known as Gabigol, is on the verge of a move away from Inter Milan on a permanent basis, but the player may have priced himself out of a move to current club or current low knee club Flamengo. Sempre Inter suggests that a deal is very close to being finalised between the two clubs, with a fee of 16 million euros agreed. However, the 23 year old will have to agree to a drop in salary. And that leads into this story from ESPN Brazil. They say a team in London has contacted Inter Milan and offered Gabigol a higher salary than Flamengo. The player would like to have his future sorted and decided by January 10th, so a week from today. And Sky Italy do suggest the London side aren't Crystal Palace, uh, but it is West Ham United, and they're ready to submit a £17 million bid for the Inter striker. There were rumours last week going about that West Ham sent scouts to the Club World Cup to watch Gabigol and a, a second player for Flamengo, so there could be some kind of substance in this rumour. AC Milan are willing to part with Lucas Paqueta this January, but only if they can get €40 million Euros for the Brazilian. According to Coucher Mercato, only Paris Saint-Germain have expressed an interest in the 22-year-old and are only willing to pay half the amount that Milan are asking for. He joined Milan a year ago and it hasn't really worked out as planned. They spent quite a bit of money on him, um, actually probably very close to 40 million they're asking for. And so far, I think he's only scored the one goal. Emery Chan and Sean Longstaff are among the midfield options being considered by Manchester United. And this story is from ESPN. The Red Devils are in need of reinforcements after losing Paul Pogba and Scott McTominay to injury, with proven performers at Juventus and Newcastle emerging as possible targets. Both players were linked to United over the summer, especially Sean Longstaff for a massive fee, but instead he opted to stay at Newcastle and they weren't willing to sell. But for Emery Chan, it looks like he, he will be leaving Juventus at some point very soon, whether it's to United, Paris Saint-Germain, Borussia Dortmund, we'll have to wait and see. And a second United rumour now from Manchester Evening News is that United have joined the race to sign RB Leipzig striker Timo Werner, but they face competition from Premier League rivals Chelsea. The German international has 18 league goals so far this season and he's helped fire his side to the top of the Bundesliga table. Man United and Chelsea are looking to improve their attacking options for the second half of the season and um, this is despite the fact that Werner has recently signed a new contract and his release clause it isn't active until the summer and it's thought to be over 60 million. So in the space of like two weeks, it's gone from Werner being available now for about £27 million, and then it was thought to be around 50 but it seems to be over 60 and then dropping every single season after that. Couch and Mercato are saying Barcelona striker Luis Suarez rejected a move to the Chinese Super League last summer. The 32-year-old could be on his way out of the Catalan club in the near future, with the club and the manager actively looking for a long-term replacement for the veteran striker. That main target would be Laturo Martinez from Inter Milan, but China, it will not be a destination for Luis Suarez. 
And you could add on top of that the whole CSL wage cap now that I keep on mentioning. So players like Luis Suarez, like Gareth Bale, it's very unlikely now we'll see them in the CSL. Next up we have a bit of a follow up from a story from a couple days ago and the source is going to Sky Sports News. They are saying Benfica are listening to offers for Jedson Fernandez. He's one of a number of midfielders who Man United are currently looking at and uh, as I mentioned before Emery Chan and Sean Longstaff apparently in that category as well. Benfica wants to loan him out for 18 months with the option to buy and that option to buy is thought to be around £34 million. His representatives have been in the UK speaking to four Premier League clubs and alongside those Leon and AC Milan have made formal offers but the player himself he wants to play in the Premier League. And the final one today comes from Mono Deportivo. They are sent Atletico Madrid's former Chelsea striker Diego Costa. He's set to move to Brazil to join Copa Libertadores winners Flamengo. It's going to cost around £25 million and that probably means that Gabigol won't be making the permanent switch. And furthermore, it does back up the point that Atletico are in the market for a striker to replace Diego Costa, Alcacer or Cavani, it will probably be out of those two. But that guys is going to be it for this video, so if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous episode will be down below in the description box, and current schedule every day at 8am UK time will be a new upload. So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.